what is up you guys and welcome to or back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be doing some hair care along with my curly hair routine broke down step by step super easy for beginners so you guys can get the most curliest yet vol voluminous voluminous with the most volume possible so here's a kind of a picture of um, what i'm talking about you guys know what i'm talking about the super cute spirals but big at the same time well defined and big so that's what today's tutorial is going to be in the easiest way possible that i could that's why i'm doing a youtube video instead of just doing a quick little tiktok or a quick instagram video so without further ado let's get into how to create that big beautiful hair so to kick start off this video i have had my hair um it's been in a protective for about like a week or two. It's been a while since I've washed my hair. Um, I've also had it in a slick bag yesterday for Thanksgiving. So it's kind of really dry. She's kind of like broken down. We need to bring her back to life. So I'm going to start off this video with doing a quick little DIY hair mask. This is super quick. It's a five ingredient mask. It could be optional for I'm just putting two different types of oils. So you could really just choose one type of oil. Make it super simple for yourself. But I want to do a lot of good, nice moisture. Um, I'm using the things that I have at home so yeah to kick start off this DIY hair mask we are going to need one clean bowl a nice pretty big one um, not too small because you don't want your products to overload I've done that so many times before <laughs> then you're gonna need some of your favorite oils I'm gonna be using extra virgin olive oil along with some coconut oil as well I'm gonna be using two eggs because I have a lot of hair and we're gonna be using a little bit of mayo these were all at home products so I hope they are super easy and accessible for you guys as well but let's get into the mixing we're gonna try to one hand this for the TikTok. Yay! Did I do it? I did it like so messily, but it happened, so making a mess. But let's do the that's one egg in. Can't even really see. I'll show what the heck? I cannot get this egg on camera without spilling it. Okay, I don't want to spill it, so <laughs> that's one egg in. Let's get the second one. Okay, second egg in. So I made a mess all over my desk, but that's okay. Um, my vanity but we got two eggs in there and then now we're gonna go ahead and so i totally forgot this i don't know how i forgot but you're gonna want to use any type of hair mask or deep conditioner or conditioner preferably a hair mask this is by ava new york and it is a therapy session hair mask powered by plant protein and argan oil it smells so good it's supposed to deeply condition hydrate and soften your curls so like all in one best of all worlds right oh my god it smells so good it's giving like baby lotion mixed with like perfume though you know what i mean like grown baby lotion if that makes sense it smells amazing i absolutely love it my go-to i love this hair mask so much um it comes in such a big tub as well so we're gonna be putting a little bit of this with our eggs i'm gonna put about two or three scoops we'll see this off i don't know how i forgot this first i mean this is my second scoop i already put a scoop in here Scoop number two, um, mixing it with the egg, and I don't need to be doing that. One last scoop. So those are our three hair mask scoops added with our eggs. Next, we're gonna add something similar in consistency, which is going to be our coconut oil. We're gonna go in with our oils, and I'm gonna do probably two scoops of this coconut oil since we do have two different types. Add two. On the side, but... <laughs> Do another scoop. I'm gonna do a smaller one because I know I said I wanted to do two, but I need to get one more on camera. So we'll split the other one in half. If that makes sense. Scoop it on the side and then plop that in there. Let's just get a little more. One more nice scoop. Now let's add a, another type of oil, our olive oil that we discussed earlier. That's a pretty much, that's, that's quite a bit, right? Not too, so, that's how much, it's not that much. I can only do a little bit dab because we have quite a bit of oil in it already. I really just be eyeballing it, y'all. Don't mind me. But for real, you just need to really eyeball it. Do what you think looks, you know what I mean? Depending on how much hair you got, you know, I know I need quite a bit. I, it sucks to run out, let me tell you that. You guys can store this for over, I guess, I feel like two to three weeks max. I'd rather go over than have under because it's so frustrating having to remix everything again. So now our last product which is going to be our mayo let's go ahead and add in that oh, 
That's quite a bit, huh, y'all? Alright, you guys. So now that we have our mixture, it literally looks like cake batter. <laughs> Yum. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin applying it to our hair. I don't really have any special method or anything. I don't usually wet my hair. I'm really going to just split it in two. Makes it a lot easier. And then I'm just going to begin soaking each individual side of my hair. Another thing that kind of helps though is, you know, if you do have too much hair, you can split that two into four. And then begin working like that it might do that might not we'll just see i'm just gonna do a quick time lapse real quick the point is video is not for the hair mask so i'm just gonna do a quick little time lapse of me applying this into my hair real quick i have completely soaked my entire hair with the hair mask and now i am going to go ahead and let it sit with the plastic bag over my head for about an hour or two I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my room, do chores, homework, fulfill orders for my business, a whole bunch of work basically. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and then I will go in the shower and rinse with cold water, shampoo and conditioner. I'll go ahead and insert in the shampoo and conditioner that I'm gonna be using and I will see you guys with a freshly washed set of curls. I got you, Red. And for reference, I did end up using most of it. Like, there's literally a little bit left. Um, barely anything. I have to scoop it out to get it. I literally drenched my hair in this product. I couldn't put, like, any more. It was literally dripping of product. So, I tried to use as much as possible so I didn't waste it. Unfortunately, it's not enough to save. But and just for reference, the two eggs and all the scoops that I did was almost about, like, the perfect amount. Alright, you guys. So, I am freshly out of the shower. I feel nice and cleansed. And I just used a t-shirt to wrap up my hair. You can use a microfiber towel as well. Do not use a normal towel. You do not want to suck out all the moisture that you just put in your hair. We have our fresh and squeaky clean hair. She looks real nice and good. Um, in the shower, I know I showed you guys earlier, but we just used Ryman and Reasons Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner um, for dry and damaged hair. It's sulfate free, cruelty free, and vegan, so we love that. Next, we're gonna go in with our leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Ryman Reason again, and um, this is Quench Curl. Um, this is their, this is not sponsored by the way. I just absolutely love their products. This is their big container. I love a good big container, again, of some leave-in conditioner. Um, we love things that come in big products, right? Because we have a lot of hair and we need a lot of product. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply on each side of my hair. So once we have our leave-in all throughout our hair, now it's time to go in with a nice thick curling cream. You guys know I love a good curling cream. Um, I found another good brand. Um, this one is Naughty, which is 97% natural. It is Wave Hello, cruelty-free, no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, no petrochemicals, and vegan-friendly as well. And this is a curl-defining cream, and this is specifically for definition and bounce. So we are going to go in with this so we can get that nice definition in there. I like to section off my hair for this, so I'm gonna do it in just two. I'm gonna section it in a half, but in the half going horizontal. Put it up like that. And then we're gonna just work on each side individually, make it a lot easier for us. And we're gonna get into the defining part. We still have our leave-in conditioner all throughout it, so we don't wanna put too much product and completely overload our hair with product because in the result, it will not be fluffy. It'll just be weighed down with product. So we do wanna keep it a nice sized amount. So if you do feel your hair too heavy with product, make sure you know your curls aren't being dragged down to where it's completely straight. And that's why, that's how you know it's like too much. So we have our leave-in conditioner and now let's go in with a little bit of our curling cream. All right, and this is about how much I grabbed a um, little over dime size. I don't know, it's quite a bit. Um, gonna put it like that, and then we're gonna do one section, and then we're gonna completely coat this section with curling cream. 
And throughout this process, you do want to go ahead and keep your bottle of water on you. Like always, I have mine with a little bit of coconut oil in it. And as you apply your curling cream, you also want to go in with some water because water is what helps form the curls. So you want to keep it nice and wet so we can begin forming it through our finger coils. And then we're going to continue on. Yeah, so you're going to make sure it's nice and soaking wet. I don't know if you can tell the difference between these two sides. This one has like some dry frizziness, but this one is nice and soaked, juicy. Make sure it's like holding. You can tell when your curls are juicy and holding in that juice. So that's how you want it to feel. Kind of like if you scrunched it, a lot of product and water would come out. Okay. So make sure all that is nice and inside of your hair because now we're going to get to the curl forming. This is a prepped side. This is what we call a nice prepped side. Okay, this is before, this is after. And I eyeball the size. It depends on how big you want your curls. If you want big curls, grab big pieces, make big curls. You know what I mean? If you want smaller ones, you can grab smaller ones, make smaller coil curls. Try to make them the same size. If you don't make them completely the same size, that's okay. As they dry, we're going to break them out a little bit later. Just remember, however you form them now is how they're going to dry. So you want them to kind of be even, but again, just eyeball it. It takes you the first section, really, and then you'll learn how to do it good. And then you'll end up just curling, curling, curling. You just go as you go. Kind of like if you were braiding your hair, you just keep braiding and braiding and braiding. You don't even think about it. You're just Doing it at that point so let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna grab a small section like this and depending on the side is how I curl it I'm gonna curl away from my face because it's on the right side away and then down and then your curl should automatically happen now if you have too much product then the curl will not form and it'll just be straight and you're gonna need to add more water and same thing as if you have too much water and it's just like not forming you need to put some more product so this is a pretty good curl. I mean, it's not that bad. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect. You'll get a couple that's in, some that's completely perfect. Don't worry too much because we are going to scrunch. I mean, you don't want it to look horrible, but you do want it to... You don't want to worry too much about it if it doesn't curl, curl completely. Like, I can tell from this curl right here, even though it's not the perfect curl, I know if I scrunch it, it'll be really nice and cute. So, we're going to go in again. And we're going to hit it with another finger coil like that then we got two finger coils and let's do another one I'm gonna grab it just a piece just eyeballing it and we're gonna curl it on our finger so like this one here I don't really like how it's curling at all so I know that I need to go with some more water I feel like because I did put a lot of product And that's a lot better, you see that? And I can tell this one's gonna curl. Yeah. Shake it a little bit, and it's going into its curl. And I know if I scrunch it, it's gonna curl nice and good. We're gonna do a lot more water on our hair because I feel like my hair is drying and these curls oh, need to the form ready. easier. Let me show you how easy these curls should form. If you have it nice and soaked, you should be able to just grab and just like that. You see how easy that curl formed? That's how you know you have enough water. I'm telling you guys, water is what forms the curl. Boom, another one. See how it's easily going to go into its curl? And if we give it a scrunch, I promise you that it will curl. And we are just curl forming, y'all. Once you get the gist of it, it literally, you just begin to curl and go, curl and go. And it makes such a huge difference in your routine. These spirals are coming out so cute, you guys. 
This curling cream is so good. Look at that. These curls are coming out good. Yes, curling cream. Okay, now we just have, it looks like two more pieces. Okay, so this is the coiled side Bring versus red. the side that is not finger coiled. So yeah. we are going to go ahead it's and see continue the red that same process that was done on this side on to this side. Now both sides are matching with the popping curls, okay? So now we just have halfway more to do. So we're going to split the top part into two and then we're going to repeat again. And again, we're gonna go in with our curling cream mixed within water. Make sure your curls are nice, soaked, wet, and juicy so the process can go by even faster because as your hair is nice and juicy, remember how easy it is to just slip and go, slip and go, slip and go, and not having to worry about, oh my gosh, it's not curling, what? But it slips so easy if you make sure that your hair is nice and wet. So like this up here is way too dry. If I sit here and I try to do this with it, it's not going to make anything good. You know what I mean? Like look at that. Look at that straightness. No. We need to add water and we need to make it juicy again. So let's continue. Both sides are completely finger coiled. We have some beautiful find juicy curls they are not super uber duper coily as yet and that is because we are not done now we need to grab our gel curling gel and you can use a jelly or any type of nice gel that you have a nice moisturizing one this one's miracle gel gelled by it's a 10 and i'm going to grab a little bit of this and i'm going to begin to scrunch my curls and this is what's really going to make them nice and tight and coily as you formed your curls nice and coily you will know if you did a good job if as you scrunch in your gel it is nice and wet you should hear kind of like a wet shoe that's how it should sound like like a little squish 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 nice and soaked saturated product and i will do it and show you guys the sound that it's supposed to make that's how you know that you've successfully did some nice juicy good curls so let's go ahead and add in this miracle gel okay so i got a good amount of the jelly gel <laughs> the gelled miracle gel and we are just going to begin scrunching it in my hair we're going to i don't know if you guys can hear that scrunch but that's how you want it to sound. It's nice and wet. All right, and once we scrunch it with our hands, I'm also gonna go in with our microfiber towel or 100% cotton tea and give it a scrunch again. And this is just to get rid of any excess product and gel. You can also shake your head a bit to kind of break up any big clumps. And make sure you squeeze nice and tight because you don't want any excess product weighing down your hair whenever it's time to dry. I always scrunch and then give it a nice one, two, three squeeze. As tight as you can, squeeze, 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 and get rid of all that product. And you want to use a microfiber towel or cotton tea because you don't want to create any excess frizz. This will make sure you're scrunching and just getting rid of product without creating any frizz. So you're getting nice defined curls and you're keeping it nice and defined here is how our curls looked all dried out from that product and nice and coiled now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and let her air dry for a little bit and i will show you guys how she looks after being air dried for a while and we'll get into the next steps
quick little pro tip i like to put my hair up in one of these spiral little things this help prevents any dents and all that and then i'm going to put it up in a pineapple this will also help as it's air drying help keep that lifted look so you can get a nice big volume with it if you do let your hair air dry with it just flat down it is a little bit harder to kind of get that it's gonna take a lot of picking you're gonna be sitting there for a while if it's just dried flat onto your head so i'm gonna go ahead and take a pineapple and just flip over and put it up real quick to prevent any frizz during this process you can go ahead and coat your hands with coconut oil just while you're touching your hair That way no phrase happens. And I'm gonna go one more time with my t-shirt. Give it one last squeeze from product. Okay, so now we have our curls up in a high pineapple. I'm gonna let my hair dry like this. Again, this really helps with that lifted look whenever she's nice and dry helps with volume a lot so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and watch my shows edit some youtube videos and i will be back as soon as i feel like she is ready for some diffusing all right you guys so it is the next day as you can tell from this beautiful natural lighting so i've let my hair literally dry overnight <laughs> i finished recording so late last night that i could not go ahead and finish it off so let's take it down from the pineapple and here's how she looks oh my god the curls are formed y'all it looks so good we gotta get a base all we gotta do now is break her out without messing it up and make it nice and fluffy <laughs> oh my gosh you guys the curls look so good i'm literally shook all i did was put it in a pineapple and i threw it um in a soap bonnet as well then i went to bed y'all <clears throat> okay so it doesn't look completely good because we still have to fluff it out I am going to go in with my coconut oil and make sure my fingers, hands are completely coated with oil when I'm touching these curls. Do not touch your freshly made curls with your regular hands. That will cause frizz and it will start to make them not look so good. Only make sure you're touching your hair with some oils so you can make sure you keep that definition there. Okay, so I got my coconut oil and I'm just completely saturating my hands with it. And then I'm going to go in with my curls, and now we're going to break these up. So, I don't even want to touch it, you guys. I'm feeling the hair, and it feels a little bit still wet. I feel like it's like 95% dry. First, I'm just going to start shaking my curls, getting inside the roots and all that. And again, anywhere I touch will hopefully be nice and soft. So I'm just going to begin fluffing it out like this. I'm thinking to just shake them out. That way I can keep as much definition as possible. And then we'll break out any big curls at the end. So for now, just shake it out. Especially because my hair isn't completely dry. It's feeling like I said, it's like 93, 95% dry. I can feel a little bit of wet dampness in it still. So I think that because it's still wet, it's going to be really easy to separate. So I'm going to go ahead and just fluff literally just throwing my hands in there and scratching and now i'm going to grab my pick um this is a coconut oil infused pick that i got from target and i'm just going to begin picking at the root press in at your roots and then pull up and that's going to help make a bigger root you know what i mean so you don't have to go all the way out to mess up your curls but just go press into your root like that and then come up shake it a little bit and then leave it alone you know what i mean don't do too much in up shake it a bit and then you're good to go that's a technique that i'm going for in up shake it a little bit and then you can also go in so from the back and like pieces that you see is like uneven so like i want it to be like a pretty kind of fro and as you can see, like right here is a little bit smaller and like back here is a little smaller, even right here. So I'm just going to go with the pig. I got your red. And we're going to do that same thing. But I'm just doing it faster. So it's like picking it, picking it, picking it. Eli. Flip your head over, pick everywhere. Just don't pick too much at the ends. 
make sure you're fluffing out that root because as you're fluffing out that root you're shaking out the curls at the bottom so these are starting to separate become their own little independent guys and when they separate the hair gets bigger as well so that's just a whole good overall whole amazing technique right because you're beating two birds with one stone all right you guys so i think that that's enough fluffing out um i don't usually wear my froze like too big this is like good sizing for me all right see how we got a little bit of frizz here i'm just gonna grab some coconut oil there you go but you're just gonna take a little bit of coconut oil a little bit of water if it's too bad and brush it down Anytime you're going in to attempt to break up anything, make sure your hands are again completely coated like that. I'm just gonna go in and finger break anything in big sections. Bring your fingers through it very, very slightly, not too much. one last scrunch because I haven't scrunched since last night and I slept on it and I haven't scrunched at all so Let's see what this does scrunching with my coconut oil on dry hair okay I've been trying to grow out my bangs y'all so I don't want to cut them just for the aesthetic because I really want to grow them out. So excuse me that it looks like kind of not the perfect fro. I really want to grow them out. <laughs> so, but she looks cute. I feel like this is still a really, really, really successful wash day. I, I'm loving the curls. I'm loving them so much. Put it in the full sun and it's such a pretty day outside you guys oh my gosh i got you red lead the way eli Alright you guys and that is going to be it for today's video. These are the finished curls. Again, this is my technique on how I can get big and beautiful defined soft curls. I love how they turned out and I hope this video really does help you guys get a better understanding of how to work with your hair. The real trick is just making sure you get that gel capsule formed and break out those capsules once it is fully dried. You want to make sure you don't use too much gel and you want to make sure you're using the right gel. So nothing too harsh and crunchy, but you want to use a gel that's nice and moisturizing a nice custard type jelly you guys watched the tutorial so now you guys should be a little professionals if your wash day does not turn out completely perfect do not beat yourself up about it it will take a couple of times it takes practice practice makes perfect right so after a couple of wash days i promise you guys will literally get the swing of it and it's going to be so easy like i said every time you get you do it over and over again making those finger coils just becomes insanely easy so yeah don't forget to check out my other socials for more content regarding hair, beauty, makeup, puppy car content, all that fun stuff. I am becoming a lot more active on Pinterest as well, so definitely check out that. And yeah, I think that is going to be it, you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!